hi this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and I have a new cut file available in the shop on my website at scrapcraftastic.com and the file includes 21 of these word topper die cuts and I've picked these out these are the ones that I've cut for myself that I will I want to use in my personal size planner that I've been actively setting up but here it is it's one of the clear planners and I'm doing like a beach theme for it for the summer so what I had this um, this blue and aqua with a few purples uh, pattern of paper it's like a, a watercolor wash that I created in Photoshop and I used it for a background for mermaid scales so I removed the scales because I didn't want the pattern to be too busy so I removed the scales and just used this color I printed it out on a piece of cardstock and then I used that cardstock to cut the word tabs out and I really like how that turned out as far as the coloring um, you don't have to do all of that to use the file you can just cut it off of any uh, colored cardstock like I did here I, I wanted to come on and show you how you can use these after they are cut they're about three inches wide and an inch tall including the letters so I made them small enough so that they would fit pretty much on any size planner or in any size traveler's notebook you want. You can use these to make page marks or bookmarks for your planner or notebook, journal, whatever you're using. And you can also actually make them and turn them into tab dividers. So I'm going to use them for this planner as tab dividers. These are from Michael's hot buy paper pads. So I'm going to cut these down and I know that for personal size I need six and three quarter height so I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Cut these at six and three quarters. I have my laminator warming up. The width of these is three and um, three quarters and I think I'm gonna go a little wider yeah I did cut my um, my dashboards a little bit wider I'm not gonna go all the way to four I'm gonna do three and seven eighths so I'm gonna be able to get three out of this And I have how many? One, two, three, four, five that I need to do. Okay. I'm not going to do that. So then again, I need two more. So I'm going to go six and three quarters I kind of want to use start with this side so I'm going to do three and seven eighths and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this last one in case I want to use it for something else Ooh. That was a bad cut. There we go. So that's all we need to do. If you want to round your corners, round your corners. Now's the time to do that. So this is how I want to laminate them. And then I can add any other embellishments to the card stock. I'm going to go ahead and add a little adhesive on these so that 
they sit in the exact place where I want them to be. Okay. So it's really hard for me to use this because I can't see where the tape is going, but I'll do my best. And let's see, I want this at the top in the center. So there's that one ready to be laminated. And I'm just going to go through and add glue to the rest of these. And you don't need a lot of glue. You can use a dab of liquid glue. You just want something to hold it in place for when you put it in your laminate pouch. So here they are all ready to be laminated. I'm going to find some artwork and some clip art items to add to these so they won't be so plain and they can again act as do as dashboards as well as dividers so and I also wanted to mention that you can also put these on the side they don't have to be on the top okay so I'll be back with some pieces to add to them okay so I decided not to put um, graphics on the back although I did find these two mermaids um, at a royalty free stock photo site but I think instead of using these on the tabs I made them big enough so that they could be a page mark or bookmark too so and I thought that would be pretty cute so while I'm laminating I will laminate those also and then I also decided that I probably will just keep the back white on these and if I want to add any decoration I could just add some washi tape to them I don't know I might do a little something on this one Let's see what it looks like So I'm just going to go ahead and work on these, make them look the way I want them to look. Okay, so I went ahead and added washi tape to the back of these. Um, and then I left the front like this. And I'm thinking that I have these three sticker books from Mambi that have some pretty large stickers in them. That I would probably never use for planning. That I could maybe use on the front of these. I don't know. Can and I will. Um, let's see, I need four more.
Okay, so now they are all laminated and I'm going to go ahead and cut them apart and trim them up. Okay, so for around the letters, even though I've trimmed at the top here, I will go in with my scissors and trim that out neatly. And I just wanted to show this little tip that I use when I'm cutting um, things that I've laminated with the paper trimmer. Let's zoom in a little bit. If you see right here where the white ends, this little indentation here is where the blade slides back and forth. So you have this space where this indention is and this white edge. This space in between here is what I leave for the sealed area of the laminate. So what I do is I line the edge of what I can see through the laminate, the cardstock, the paper, whatever the case may be. I line that up on the very edge of the white and I use that as my guide to know where to cut. So if I line it up there, I know I'm not going to break into my seal and it leaves me enough gap along the edge. So that's how I'm able to just go ahead and cut my laminate so quickly and easily. Because I use that as my guide mark. So, And then that way you have the same amount of sealed edge all the way around. So now I've cut all of these and I'll go in and trim up the top areas and do a little bit of rounding on these corners. I won't use a corner chomper because I didn't round the the cardstock but I will just round a little bit with the scissors just so that it's not stabbing me. And it's pretty easy to do. I mean if you want to actually measure that out. You could take something that's small and round it and use a sharpie to draw it out but then for the edge of the words I just go try to you know do an equal amount like I've done everywhere else and again just do a little bit of rounding so you don't have those sharp edges Do the same thing on the other side. Do a little rounding. And again, to do your rounding, if you're not comfortable with just doing it with the scissors, then you can take something small and use it to do your rounding. Okay, so I've got everything cut out now and I'm going to go ahead and do my punch marks. And this is what they look like. This is the back. And then I also cut out the mermaids. Not sure how I'm going to use this yet. Just, it's just going to sit in or what I want to do with that. But I'm going to use this sturdy dashboard. I had it in there upside down. But I'm going to use this dashboard to measure the holes, to mark the holes on these. And I don't think my punch is strong enough to punch them and I don't want to test it so I'm just going to do it this way and just line this up and use my sharpie pen to mark the holes and then come back in and do the punches So now I'm going to go ahead and punch these out. OK, 
Okay. And then you can, if any of the Sharpie remains, you can just wipe it off with a cloth or fingers, whatever the case. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in. I want to remove some items from this. This is where I want my weekly to begin. Okay, so I've removed some of the inserts that I had in there. These are just some blank um, personal size inserts that, if you're interested, are available in my shop. I'm going to go ahead and add these other sections here. I'll have to move these weekly inserts. I think I'll add my other sections back here. So I'll have to cut some paper and cut some inserts. So now I've got my dividers in. I'm ready to go in and add the inserts for each of the sections. But that is how you can set up your word tab toppers or dividers for your planner if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye